Well, thank you for joining us this week. Um, you'll know that last week we spent a week considering some of the early stories of David, shepherd boy and king, in, in our scripture last week. Um, we spent some time with his, his anointing by Samuel to be that future king of Israel, uh, the king that was going to replace Saul, who had gone against the word of God. God declaring that David had a heart after his own. And then we, we thought about David's character, how he, he spent time in King Saul's uh, palace, King Saul struggling with his temper and his emotions. Um, but David's character was there, his musical ability to, to bring calmness and peace to King Saul. We heard about David heading up to the battle and being amazed that the Israelites, the army of the living Lord God, were cowering at the challenge of Goliath. And we left him on Friday, I think it was, um, in King Saul's company, volunteering to represent the nation and stand against Goliath. But um, David wasn't going to trust in the strength of humans, the armoury and the weaponry of Saul. Instead, he was going to trust in what he'd used before and in the Lord's strength. Um, what he'd had before was it enough to defeat bears and lions as he faithfully protected the sheep in his care. And David believed that was all he was going to need. He could go out in the Lord's strength and face Goliath. Well, let's recap a bit and then push on also with some more of this particular story found in 1 Samuel chapter 17, 37 to 44. 1 Samuel 17, 37 to 44. Saul said to David, go and the Lord be with you. Then Saul dressed David in his own tunic. He put a coat of armour on him and a bronze helmet on his head. And David fastened on his sword over the tunic and he tried walking around because he was not used to them. I cannot go in these, he said to Saul, because I'm not used to them. So he took them off. Then he took his staff in his hand, chose five smooth stones from the stream. And he put them in the pouch of his shepherd's bag and with his sling in his hand approached the Philistine. Meanwhile, the Philistine with his shield bearer in front of him kept coming closer to David. He looked David over and saw that he was little more than a boy, glowing with health and handsome, and he despised him. And he said to David, Am I a dog? Do you come at me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. Come here, he said, and I'll give your flesh to the birds and the wild animals. Well, the Lord God had declared that David had a heart after his own. The Lord chose David, saw his potential. The Lord saw in David a heart that was faithful and obedient. But twice his heart, his character is, is challenged, firstly by his older brother, who accuses him of being conceited and wicked. And then here, insulted by Goliath, who looked on him, judged him on his appearance, just a boy with sticks, and despised him. So David's been judged badly by his family and now badly by an enemy. I wonder how we look on each other. Maybe it'd be good for us just to pause for a moment and think about someone that we have judged or written off. Perhaps it's a family member. Perhaps someone who's other and different to us. Someone that we might have accused of having a character flaw. Someone we've looked down on or even despised. This is the human heart, isn't it? We seem to try and raise ourselves up by knocking others down. We seem to raise ourselves up by knocking others down, belittling them. God saw David differently to how he was viewed by his family and by his enemy. And we can be sure that God views those we have judged and written off differently to us. Thank goodness the Lord doesn't look at any humans and despise them. Well, let's learn to look with the eyes of God and see the potential of others, not their failures and flaws. For those we've grown to despise, may God soften and heal our hearts. Let's cultivate hearts of obedience and faithfulness. Wouldn't it be the greatest thing to hear God say to you and me, he, she has a heart after my own. Let's pause and pray. Father God, examine our hearts. 
and create a new heart within us, a heart that beats after the things that your heart beats for. And help us to look at others, not through our, our human views, looking for flaws and looking for imperfections, looking to put people down in order to build ourselves up. But let's, people, let's see people how you do. Father, with that the heart of compassion, but looking for the good, that's expecting the best, building people up. Help us in this, we pray. Your precious name we pray. Amen. May God bless us this day.